Many people regard gambling as a quick thrill, some harmless fun. But at just 23, Matt has been through years of trauma caused by addiction to gaming machines. You will eventually lose not just everything you've won, but everything you've ever had. And that's what happened to me. And when you hit rock bottom, it literally make, turns you into a shell of a human. Like you don't, you literally don't have a personality. This street in East London has no fewer than 17 gaming facilities. Without anybody to stop them, many companies have set up more than one outlet on the same stretch of road. During the last few years, side by side with pawnbrokers and money shops, they've gradually changed the face of the British high street. Some would say they've sucked the life out of it. Go to any working class town centre up and down this country and you'll see a similar picture. Lots of expressions of the collapse of the traditional high streets here, mirrored by the seemingly inexorable rise of very high interest payday lenders and gambling outlets as well. The police don't like these things any more than local authorities do since they're seen as feeding off poverty and encouraging crime and antisocial behaviour. But the problem is at the moment, nobody outside central government has any power to stop their rise. The addicts don't go in to bet on the horses. What keeps the bookmakers going are the fixed odds machines, which can pay out hundreds of dollars, but can empty your pockets in no time at all. Oh, terrible. The numbers involved in these casino-style games are huge. There are currently more than 33,000 operating in the UK. Over the course of 2011, more than $65 billion was gambled on them. Of that, gamblers lost $2 billion to the machines. Of course, the sharp end of the argument is that if people lose all their disposable income on betting they can't win, then the rest of the local economy is bound to suffer. If it was uh, prostitution or drug dealing, it would be exactly the same. It would dominate an area where, you know, I think, you know, there is uh, room for all of us in an area. Uh, and if, if you just have gambling or, or payday loans or pawnbrokers, you're going to stop anybody else starting a business. The British government takes in half a billion dollars a year in tax from gambling. The industry insists there's no hard evidence that casino-style machines cause social problems, so perhaps this man is the exception rather than the rule. Others would argue that gambling is the hidden demon, casting a toxic spell over Britain's high streets. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in London.